I guess when you when you're planning a set, how much of it is, is, is improvised, and how much do you really take into account the audience? That I never really plan very much. Really? No, I, I just can't. What's your thinking when you're up there when you when you unleash the first track? and kind of the flow of where it goes. Well, that's the thing. I'm not thinking. I'm just mm. trying to let the music pass through me because if I think too much, I'm going to get bogged down in other considerations. So right. I try to become the music, just like, you know, I try to like feel what mood the people want and what to give them to go there. And, you know, I. I mean, obviously everybody's different, but I try to be as completely transparent as I can. I, I don't think about anything when I play except the music or like colors or shapes or rhythms or things that are related to what I'm playing. And I, like I, I certain times I could tell you, um, like it got really, really intense, certain parties I played. I remember specifically one party, she was there in Tokyo. It, it, get, it became so intense, I lost speech. I couldn't talk. It was like altered states. I sort of got into another kind of... People came to me and I was like... <laughs> but I, I was, you know, so attuned to what the crowd wanted and it was like so powerful and continuous. I mean, we're talking about like almost 12 hours. Yeah. And uh, I, I lost, like, you know, I could say yes or something, but that was about it because Really, I, I thought about it later on. I mean, it's not something that happened a lot, but you know, because that particular event was really absolutely intense, mad packed, over a thousand people in a small space, and continuous like energy. That and I realized that I, I had gone to that state where instead of using the uh, verbal sort of interface between my brain and people and all that, mm -hmm. I was really not able to dedicate any of what I was doing to that because I was fully absorbed by the music, what they wanted, and you know, there was this sort of non-verbal thing that I was speaking with the, with the records kind of thing, you know?